I heard your talk on gun control. So I'll ask you a question. Do you have the guts to go down to the people in Texas whose kids were killed? The kids in high, the high school in Florida and the ones that say, going to tell them to their faces that their request for gun control on certain things and everything else is wrong and that they're leftists. Have you got the guts to tell them to their faces that what they're feeling is wrong and you're right? Of course, I would be honored to speak to them and tell them they're wrong. Honored. It would be it would be one of the highlights of my life to talk to these grieving people and tell them that their reactions, though completely understandable, will do nothing to prevent other kids and other parents from the same suffering. It would be my honor to Florida? speak to them, Florida and Texas. That is correct. You Well, why don't you do that, Dennis? Why don't because you go Because they're not going to come to my talk, okay? Let's live in reality. I, I, would, I hereby announce to everyone listening in Florida and Texas, it would be my honor, I would humbly go before grieving parents and tell them that the issue in America is values, not guns. Would you call them lefties? No. I would call okay. the I would call the idea if they asked me, do you think that the concentration on guns rather than evil is a left wing idea? I would say that has been the left view since Vladimir Lenin. That was conservative Dennis Prager of Prager U, not a real university, by the way, confirming what we already knew, <laughs> that conservatives are incredibly heartless. They are so cruel. He would actually debate the family of a victim from Uvalde and explain to them why they're wrong. It's not guns that killed their children. It's um, values or a lack thereof. It's evil. I mean, this is why I have no respect for conservatives. This is why we don't take you seriously because you're not living in reality with us. One side wants to have a good faith conversation about policy, whereas you want to talk about abstract things. You want to talk about a lack of God in schools. You want to talk about this intangible, subjective thing like evil. Okay, let's let's assume for a second that you're right and you definitively prove to us that it is evil that is causing all of these kids to die in schools and not guns. How do you regulate evil? How do you ban evil? How do you address that with legislation? Because we're trying to talk about policy, Dennis, but you're talking about some made up bullshit. You're putting feelings over facts. How do you address that? People like that are not serious actors, but yet this is one of the most influential propagandists in the country. I've seen my normie friends share PragerU videos. This is the person who's educating people, having an influence on people's policy ideals? Isn't that horrifying to everyone? No, it's not the guns. It's evil. Yeah, you're evil, buddy. But unfortunately, I'm not able to quantify that. Actually, maybe you can quantify that if you add up all of the dead children that you think are the result of um, not guns. It's just, it's, it's frustrating. Because anytime there is a policy issue, they don't want to talk about policy. So Dennis Prager can talk about his feelings and abstract concepts, but let's talk about some facts. NPR writes, Columbine High School, Virginia Tech, Sandy Hook Elementary, Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, all are names seared into the nation's memory for the terrible violence that took the lives of students there. But the dangers young people face from firearms in America go well beyond school shootings, which account for only a fraction of all gun-related deaths, whether it's the gun violence they face in their neighborhoods, or suicide, or accidents at home when guns are left unsecured, the threat to the nation's children and teenagers is not only bad, but worsening. For decades, car crashes were the leading cause of death for Americans ages 1 to 19, but the gap between car crash deaths and firearm deaths began to steadily narrow in recent years. In 2020, gun violence overtook car accidents to become the number one cause of death for U.S. children and adolescents. Researchers at the University of Michigan found that while firearm-related deaths overall increased 13.5% between 2019 and 2020 among children and adolescents, they surged a staggering 30%. So gun violence is now the leading cause of death among adolescents, surging, statistically increasing every single year. But Dennis Prager just admitted that he would gaslight the parents of gun violence and say, guns didn't kill your child, it was evil. I mean, again, how do you have 
genuine good faith policy discussions with these people when all they want to do is distract. And we know why he's distracting. We know why he's obfuscating and gaslighting. It's because he cares about the profits of gun manufacturers. Maybe they contribute to PragerU. They certainly buy off politicians, so I'm not sure how much they're putting into propaganda, but it's certainly a lot, I'd imagine. But, you know, in the event we do gun regulations, how does that impact the gun industry? Well, it dips into their profits. If you raise the uh, legal age to purchase firearms from 18 to 21, well, that cuts out on how many people can buy guns. That's obviously less money. If you do universal background checks, that might weed out some of the bad actors, and then that cuts into their profits. It's all about money. It is quite literally profits over people, which is why I say capitalists are a death cult. Like, this man is literally admitting to you that he cares more about profits than people. And he's not saying this explicitly. He's implicitly telling you this. Because anyone who claims with a straight face that it's not guns, it's evil, is fucking stupid. Like, if I were being overly charitable, I'd say, okay, if you claim that evil people are using guns to kill people, sure, but the problem is that that's such a useless conversation because, again, evil is not something that you can legislate away or regulate. But guns, however, you can. So if you genuinely believe it's evil, then make sure that we don't put guns into the hands of evil. But again, this isn't a conversation that he wants to have because he doesn't want to do anything that might hurt the profits of these precious gun manufacturers, which is why he would allow these children to continue to get slaughtered. He'd confront the parents, debate them of Uvalde, and just tell them, nope, you're wrong. I mean, this is not necessarily an anomaly, right? I wish I could say that Dennis Prager is a very bizarre conservative, and many conservatives aren't like him, but this is pretty representative of most of the conservative uh, conservative population in America. They've all been brainwashed. It's a death cult. We just have to ignore them, defeat them where we can electorally, and legislate without them, because that's what you get when you try to include, you know, uh, conservatives in these adult conversations. You get fucking stupidity like that. Do yourself a favor and click the join button on YouTube to become a member. Because Mike's doing a great job getting to watch his videos before everyone else is tremendous. Many people are saying this. Join today, folks. You won't regret it.